The Pontifical Mission Library, Bethlehem, which started in 1970, is one of the projects financially supported by the Pontifical Mission for Palestine, which was founded by Pope Pius XII in 1949 as an operating agency of the Catholic Near East Welfare Association in the Middle East. More than just being a project, it is a labor of love, a seed sown on a fertile soil, a seed that has grown in the birthplace of the Prince of Peace. It is the first public library founded to serve the community of Bethlehem and its surrounding areas. From its foundation years till the present day, it has been entrusted to the members of the Theresian Association, whose mission promotes the charism which aligns with the mission of providing cultural and educational opportunities for growth and upliftment. They, in turn, have tapped the invaluable assistance and services of the local staff. In 1969, the Theresians had the green light to establish another library in Bethlehem, where I joined in the Arabic section with the staff twice a week. We were a group of uh, students at St. Joseph School and we were part of the Pontifical Mission Library and we used to have our uh, boss, Chuchi. We made our first group, girl group, in maybe 1969 and 1970. And really, Chuchi had given us the good opportunity in order to develop ourselves, to develop our personality. We learned a lot from being part of the youth club in uh, the Pontifical Mission. We used to go a lot of picnics and a lot of cultural uh, journeys. لقد بدأت علاقتي مع مكتبة البعث البابوية منذ الطفولة منذ أن افتتحت أبوابها في بداية السبعينيات وكنت حين لا أزال طفلا في المدرسة فعلاقتي مع هذه المكتبة قوية جدا منذ ذلك الوقت فنحن طفلان نمونا معا وكانت صداقتنا متينة وامتدت فيما بعد إلى أن أصبحت علاقة عائلية تشمل جميع أفراد الأسرة لازلت أذكر موقع المكتبة الأول الذي كان بقرب قوس الزرارة وكانت تكون ملأة بالشباب والصبايا الذين إما يقرؤون الكتب داخل المكتبة أو يأخذونها إلى بيوتهم I think the pontifical mission had given us a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge to check our life first of all on a working life basis and secondly on our uh, social life. Returning to the 1969 and 1970s, where we used to go to this small uh, library uh, for the Theresian sisters, that we learned a lot from them. We used to go there for reading, dancing, and even singing and chatting all together. These things had given us a lot of values, how to be responsible, how to manage ourselves, at that time and still we are still very grateful to these days that we have all these values with us. We are nine in the fifties and to give it to our children at home and our family and even to our students and our neighbors. لقد كان للمكتبة تأثير كبير علي وعلى أسرتي فمنذ البداية تعودت القراءة والمطالعة وبالتالي البحث عن الثقافة وعن العلوم في بطون الكتب وهذا أيضا ما وارثه أبنائي عني وبالتالي اهتمامنا بالمطالعة والقراءة أغنى حياتنا وأغنى تجربتنا في طلب العلم ولا تزال هذه المكتبة حتى اليوم تقوم بواجبها في نشر الوعي والثقافة في بيت لحم تقوم بنشاطات مختلفة وتوسعت حتى أصبحت نشاطاتها اجتماعية وثقافية المعسكرات الصيفية التي تقوم بها المكتبة تجمع الشباب وتعلمهم وتعودهم على المشاركة والتعاون واحترام الآخر وبالتالي نشر الوعي الثقافي والحضاري لهذا الشعب أنا عضو فعالة في مكتبة البعثة البابوية منذ سنة 1995 وأبنائي أيضا مشاركين في القراءة وأيضا في النشاطات المختلفة التي تنظمها مكتبة البعثة البابوية 
بعد عودتي من الكويت وجدت أن مكتبة البعثة البابوية هي المتنفس الوحيد لدي حيث أجد نفسي في القراءة ومتابعة المجلات وأيضا هي بيتي الآخر لازلت بعتبر أن المكتبة المكتبة البعثة البابوية هي عالم المصغر أعتبر نفسي قارئة ناشطة وكنت ولا زلت أتابع مع المكتبة في كثير من الكتب التي أحتاجها على سبيل المثال الموسوعة الطبية والميكروبيوتيك والطب البديل وكانت طاقم المكتبة لا يأنو جهدا في توفيرها لي والبحث عنها من خلال تجربتي في قراءة الكتب حدث تحسن كبير في لغتي العربية والإنجليزية وبالتالي أثرت إيجابا على دراستي سواء كانت في المدرسة أو في الجامعة وكذلك بالنسبة لأطفالي حيث قدمت لنا المكتبة في أحد الأعوام شهادة أفضل عائلة قارئة في منطقة بيت لحم نجتمع مرة واحدة في الشهر مجموعة السيدات من مسلمات ومسيحيات من مناطق بيت لحم وبيت جالة وبيت صحور ونعتبر هذه اللقاءات لقاء مقدسا وكنا لا نفوته أبدا هذه اللقاءات التوعوية والعملية والمحاضرات العلمية أثرتنا بعدة جوانب من ضمنها مهارات تطوير الذات ومهارات حياتية واجتماعية وسيكولوجية وأيضا كمان أمور تعنى بشؤون المرأة والطفل بالإضافة إلى التآخي الإسلامي المسيحي في هذه اللقاءات النسوية نتحاور ونتفاعل ونتناقش ونتشارك في عدة مواضيع شخصية وحياتية وبالتالي نتعلم من بعضنا البعض تأثير الإيجابي لنشاطات هذه المكتبة على أطفالي فقد كانت جدا إيجابية فقد تعلموا احترام الوقت والالتزام والتعاون والمشاركة فقد شاركوا في عدة مخيمات صيفية وكانوا يعودون إلى البيت دائما سعيدين وقد أثرت إيجابا عليهم في دراستهم المدرسية والجامعية ومن ضمنها كان يوم الشباب العالمي الذي أقيم في إسبانيا في العام 2011 وكانت تجربة عظيمة لهما فقد اكتسبا خبرة وصداقات جديدة هنا هانز علمنا كيف نصلي وكيف نتعايش بسلام داخلي مع أنفسنا والأشخاص المحيطين بنا وأيضا الأخت نينيتا تيني فرنشا المديرة الإقليمية لمؤسسة التيريزيانا تحدثت معنا عن دور المرأة في المجتمع وعن القديس الشهيد المنشئ لمؤسسة التيريزيانا بيدرو بيفيدا It was a great pleasure for me to work for four years as a staff in the Pontifical Mission Library, which definitely added to my personal and professional growth. During those years, I learned and improved the many skills that I have, such as handling and facilitating members of different age group levels, doing a translation, a giving a leadership sessions to different groups, etc. I have also grown in some other aspects such as self-confidence, creativity, a capacity to deal and relate with people of different backgrounds, religious beliefs and of different ages. So many beautiful memories marked me which are absolutely unforgettable. I can only look back with a grateful heart for those learning moments and the people like Ms. Munait who played a significant role in my growth personally and professionally. The goal of the social 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 أود أن أقول أنني استفدت استفادة قصوى في مهارات تعلم اللغة الإنجليزية المحادثة المتطوعات الأجنبيات ميس آيمي وميس جين لهم مني جزيل الشكر والامتنان ودليل بسيط على تطور لغة الإنجليزية I would like to thank the director of the Pontifical Mission Library Miss Monet Munana and the staff for providing us with varied activities and efficient services. When I remember my experience in the Pontifical Mission Library, sweet memories flash into my mind. The summer camps, Friday's activities, and much more. 
But my very special and significant memory is when I came to the library for the first time after a push from my parents. And as a result, I became an active member of the library at the age of 14. I have been part of the Pontifical Mission Library since I was a child here. And I would go to the shelves and just grab whatever Harry Potter books I could get on. And that would open lots of uh, imaginational ideas for me as I like reading. And my English improved a lot because people at the library would always help me improve and help me choose the right books for my age. And from books and shelves, I would go um, and see all these posters about the activities that the library offers and the summer camps, for example, the Yes Camp. We would go there and share our stories, share our ideas and be creative with each other. The most interesting thing is that I have been preserving my membership card to evoke the good memories. I cannot deny that the library has added to my professional and personal development. From reading various books and magazines to attending workshops on personal skills, communication and building relationships. One of the most important experiences here at the library were the activities about the spiritual experiences and the spiritual relationships between the other uh, religions, for example, Muslims and Christians would come together and talk about their beliefs. And that's very important for me as uh, a Christian, being able to understand the other people's beliefs. And I grew more tolerant and more understanding by that. And the library hasn't only been a place where I can just read. It's been a place where I can actually meet other youth and talk to them and express my ideas. And one of these activities were leadership activities and movies. For example, we would sit together and watch educational movies. Leadership skills have improved a lot my personality as I am more self-confident when I talk to people. For example, I am an ambassador at Bethlehem University and I always talk to visitors that come from different places around the world. And when I talk to them, I am always really confident. And I really know how to express myself as a Palestinian and as a woman in this society. Due to my strong affiliation to the Pontifical Mission Library, I decided to spend my community service hours in the library in order to fulfill my university requirement course. I learned how to classify the books and help the personnel in typing, sorting and filing book and catalog cards. The Pontifical Mission Library has always liked to uh, keep us up to date to things, for example, technology here at the library. You know, books are not the only mean for us to get information. We'd use the World Wide Web, the internet, to use it as they would provide us computers and they'll provide us ways and they will help us to know how to use them as a young kid who didn't know anything about technology. The library is not only a venue for reading books, but it's also a platform for connecting people and cultures. I used to be a part of the youth group tourism association as we would have a formation session, as we would have prayer session where we share our faiths, we would read verses from the gospel the Tuition Association has helped me a lot grow into the person I am now and therefore I will never forget all the memories that I had here and they become part of who I am and I will always use these ethical values and these amazing experiences that I gained from this program. I really wish the Pontifical Mission Library all the success in the future in order to continue its mission which is forming, educating and helping in the integral transformation of the Palestinian society. Gratefully, with the sour who plants and waters, this seed has grown and continue to grow. From humble beginnings in Bethlehem, where the Prince of Peace was born, the Pontifical Mission Library serves as a launching pad for greater and higher educational pursuits. Thanks to all our Pontifical Mission Library members, friends, benefactors, supporters, funders, all those who believe in our joint mission. In the words of St. Pedro Poveda, you don't have to be rich in order to give, you only have to be good.